Hey everyone, today we're going to do the surface part of the tutorial for uh, learning Rhino. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that, just had to clear my throat. Um, and we're going to go over, as I said, surfaces. Uh, last tutorial we went over curves, which was a very, very, um, I think an important part. Uh, I would suggest highly suggesting watching that. Uh, but if you haven't, uh, go check it out and then come back to this one. But anyway, so surfaces is basically defined as something that has uh, no thickness. So, for example, a piece of paper has uh, is very thin, very, very thin, but still has a thickness. Um, but a surface, on the contrary, actually has uh, zero thickness in the model, kind of, in this program. Which means it doesn't really exist in real life, so, and that, that's very important, because a lot of people that use Rhino like to fall into the trap of modeling modeling in surface which is a horrible tactic don't ever ever fall into that. it's very bad and it will make your models look so bad so please um, don't do that I'm trying to teach you guys proper workflow and I think that's very important this is my workflow of course so it's my opinion that I think it's proper but in my opinion I think it's a very proper workflow so we're going to start with surfaces. We're going to stop talking and go with surfaces. So, how do we make this curve a surface? So, there's I'm going to go in perspective view. And there's multiple ways to do this. We can uh, just use these. We can, you can uh, create two different curves to create a surface. Or you could use the same curve as an extrusion. So if you want to make this kind of a wall, a wall surface, you type in extrude curve, enter, and now there's settings here. That's how you do direction. Do you want to extrude on both sides, and do you want it solid? So in this case, it's it can't be solid, so we're going to extrude up. Uh, I just kind of picked an arbitrary height. As you see, this is one extrusion. It's really a surface. So if you do explode, it would actually be one surface. But yeah. So anyways, so this is, since this is defined as a surface, um, it has no thickness. As you can see, if we can zoom in, it's literally defined as this line that has literally no thickness. And I keep stressing that because it's really important because people like to model like this. Like, let's say this is their wall. They would like to model like this and say that's done. And I highly, let's say, let's say the wall in general has a thickness. You can actually create that. And we'll go over that in the poly surface part of the tutorial. So I think that's really important to uh, note. Don't model just in surface. It should be as a thickness. So... This is how you would create a surface, basically. This is one way, is totally draw the profile and just extrude it if this is the same profile you want. Now, if you have a different profile, for example, um, we're going to do this closed curve first. So if you want this closed curve to be kind of a surface wall kind of area, you would do extrude curve. Again, hit enter, and then just drag it up. Oh, oops. And there we go. As you can see, we create these kind of geometry here. And it's jagged. It, it has the walls, and they're all extruded at the same height. As you can see. Now, another thing we can do is we can actually start with two separate curves. So we can do uh, interpret curve again. Hit enter, and I'm going to draw a random one. And it's going to be this. And then we're going to draw another one from top view. It doesn't matter. Just do. Yeah, uh, looks the same anyways. And as you can see, as I said last time in the curve tutorial, you can actually use these to manipulate it and change using Gumball. And actually just change these around. So let's say that's the curve profile we have. We can actually just highlight this. Um, and then we can now rotate this 90 degrees because I'm going to show you guys why. A second but anyways but we can now start to use these two curves as a method of creating the surface 
And what I mean by that is these curves are going to create the surface. Now, it this you can use this for multiple curves. It doesn't just have to be two. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to use two. That's the minimum you need and without just doing extrusion. So we're going to use something called loft. And we're going to loft these two together. Select curves to loft. So it's these two. Hit enter. And then now you're stuck with this. It'll have a preview. It is a style of tight. And they have all these ones loose. Um, and all that other junk. I usually keep mine at tight. Um, so what you can do here with the loft, you can actually rebuild it and refit within certain areas. So this is the tolerance of how accurate it will be. And this is how accurate it will be within the rebuild. So you can see changes in terms of tolerance and how much uh, it will fit together. So I'm going to keep it at that. And then hit OK. And now you got your surface. Now sometimes you get into a situation. Let me move this here. Sometimes you get into a situation where you're like, okay, I like this kind of articulation of the wall, but I want these two, I want this to be closed, like how this is, as you can see, it's basically like all sides of a shape except for the top and the bottom. Kind of like that. I want this as well to be, um, I just want something to span from here to here to create this closed. Now there are definitely, um, you could do the loft method that I just showed. You can loft the two together. In fact, I'll show you um, how to do that. You can mimic the curve and do line and literally draw because I know these are straight, so they're extrusions. And you can literally just do that and then um, just do loft. And then it'll say like, and the reason why it's making this um, instead of a straight line is because of this point is connecting to this point instead of here. So all you do is do align curves and just click this. You can see it's really reading connect this point to this point and that's why it's making this bow tie looking thing. So you just click this and you'll be good. And you hit OK. And now you got your surface. So you can do that or you can just, oh also another command is copy. You can just copy to uh, copy the object you have. So I'm just going to copy it real quick here. So it's, we could do that. Uh, another way to do it is to, or an, another way to do it is to do edge surface. And you literally just say like select two, three, or four open curves. Um, you can do curves or you can do edges. I usually just use edges. So if I have two or three open curves, Two, you have to have a minimum of two, so one, two, and then enter, and it'll create that surface perfectly. Without the mate, without, so this line one takes more steps. But why, you're, you're wondering in your head, why would I use the line, and then why would I use either one? When would I use the loft, and when would I use the, the edge surface? Loft is usually when you have a, a series of curves like this and you have more than those curves to create kind of a, a wavy type of geometry versus an uh, edge surface is more of a fixing of the geometry uh, it's more like that and you can use loft for this but I would use edge surface because you saw I only had to click that twice and I was done this you have to draw the line do this an edge surface is very good for um, if I do copy again we can actually see, let's say, um, let me do, let me actually, let, uh, let's say I had this, so I'm going to actually copy this curve, and I'm going to copy these two, but I'm going to change this one up to be a little bit different and we're going to loft that together so it's going to look something like a little wonky and then and then move this here and then move this up here like that all right cool so let's say i had something along the lines of 
this. And it doesn't have to be exactly above it, but I'm going to make it somewhat close, so like right here. And I'm going to lock these two. And now I have my lofted geometry. And you're wondering, Clark, or me, my name is Clark, by the way, just letting you know, uh, why are you doing this? Why is, why are you showing this off? Like, this is, what's the difference between this and this? Besides, it looks kind of more crazy. And I'll answer that for you. <clears throat> this, you can draw the curve, you can draw a line here as well, but sometimes the geometry gets pretty complex here to where drawing a line here and then doing the loft it seems pretty impossible and it's a lot more difficult so what you can do edge surface makes it easy to just grab those edges and to create that type of curvature that will connect the two um, if you like the curve option you can do something called dupe edge and it'll duplicate the select edges to duplicate so it'll basically Take any edge of anything, surface or poly surface, and duplicate it. So I want to duplicate this one and duplicate this one. Click enter, and then I can loft, and then enter. And now you have your lofted uh, geometry. And yeah, so that's um, thinking if there's anything else for surfaces. <coughs> um, there's not much else to surfaces. Um, just remember loft. Um, loft, edge surface, and uh, things like that. I think that's the really important part for this tutorial. It's just kind of how you translate that curvature into geometry, into some, you know, some visible geometry, not just curvature. And curve I think of as plans, and then surfaces is more of like a prototyping, and then the poly surface is the finalization of that surface, which is like the final version. <clears throat> so usually you want to do most of your work with curves and surfaces just to check if it looks right. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for surfaces. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will move on to the polysurface part, so check that video out when it's out. But so yeah guys, thanks for watching.